Tarzan had its close beta that unfortunately came to end end today and I played probably 50 to 100 hours of uh, closed beta and me and my guild we competed for the first kill on the on the raids which we got uh, so I'm gonna give you guys my overall experience of the beta of the game how I feel about it how what I see in the future and when it is estimated to actually come out globally so let's jump right into it so I've been probably I have probably have streamed 20 to 20 hours or 30 hours of uh, beta gameplay on YouTube and on Twitch uh, and I had a great time playing this game we had a fun time with the guild uh, we had a great time doing the raids, doing the dungeons, and overall the game experience. Now, I was playing the PC client, uh, and I also heard people that have played more with the mobile client, how the game felt. An overall opinion, even though the server was in NA and I'm EU, uh, I didn't have any lag issues. There was some like lag issues during like peak hours uh, when, uh, when you were in raids, but other than that, it was pretty smooth. The game felt smooth. The gameplay felt smooth and overall was a fun, enjoyable experience. Uh, now the game itself, there is a lot to do in the game. I know a lot of people uh, don't agree with me, but that's probably because they haven't fully experienced the game and what the game is. Now in this game, the main purpose is, it's an MMORPG, the main purpose of the game is to progress your character. Level up your character, grind your character, do dungeons, do PP, uh, do life skills, do crafting. And in this game, there is a lot to do. When you are not doing dungeons or PvE, if you're done, uh, you can do endless, by the way, dungeons, five man dungeons. Uh, you can do endless of them, you can grind them endlessly for tokens or gear. The raids, however, are locked on one loot uh, per day per raid and uh, 10 loots per week but you can enter these raids and help other people out two times now i do agree that this should go there shouldn't be like a limit to how many times you can raid so that way you can help as many people as you want in your guild and so on because i helped everybody out in my guild and i was locked out after three runs on each raid and i couldn't help anymore which is very unfortunate so you get locked out after three times weekly and then at level 40 you unlock something called mythic dungeons which will give you rewards, two rewards a day. Uh, and you can stack up to six times. So let's say you cannot play for three days. That's completely fine. You can come back uh, on the third day. You'll have six time uh, mythic dungeons you can run to gear up your character. And uh, the mythic dungeon also have leaderboards if you want to compete uh, in that. And in this game, you'll have first skill server titles and stuff for the raids. But this is PBE overall. Now there are more stats. Uh, deep like if people are wondering how they're doing on healing dps different dungeons razor have put on a whole ranking system on their website which is awesome hopefully they implement this in the game too there should be a way in the game to also check leaderboards for dungeon raids and stuff since it's so pve focused not only their website now uh, looking away from the pe the pve was fun the mythic dungeons were challenging the raids were super challenging especially the fourth boss it was overtuned but uh, we had a blast playing this game and blast a rating overall so the pve is very challenging top tier content now, but let's take a look at the other stuff now the exploration in this game even though we only had like three and a half maps or four maps but the one map is very small the exploration in this game is absolutely phenomenal there's a lot of stuff to explore there's a lot of like tokens to find chests to find and each chest requires you to do different things for some chests you need a flamethrower for some chests you need different kind of items uh, for some chests you need to like shrink uh, which you get through crafting uh, for some chests you have to do different puzzles uh, grind different mobs and you have to find these chests too so there's a lot of exploration options in this game and there's also like other stuff like different kind of tokens for each map that you have to find for your reputation and these ones you also get through uh, exploring. You have to like jump up mountains, get underwater. Uh, some stuff spawns during the night, some stuff spawns during the rain. So it's a lot of way to explore and, and get all this stuff. I got like almost all the chests and almost all the medals by grinding a lot of hours and looking at guides and stuff uh, in between friends. But basically there's a lot of exploration to do 
in this game overall so if you're a person that like to play solo you'll have that option to do explorations alone and explore the map so it, it will take you around the whole map so you know most some animals are like they have this massive map we never get to explore it because the game never takes it it takes you through there once in the story and you never explore it again but in this game you have to explore the whole map so you can unlock everything so you can unlock reputation the higher level your reputation is in this game the more items you can lock so if you increase your reputation you eventually lock flying mounts you eventually like better recipes to craft gear so reputation is something that's very important in this game uh, that you want to have up every time and during the explorations there'll be like reputation quests that reset uh once a day or once every two days that you can do and these also require like some requires like flying some some are like race type events some type are are like puzzle events maze events there's a lot of different cool exploration stuff in this game that i have to give credit where dude that was amazing the crafting in this game is also very fun uh, because the crafting requires you to actually buy crafting materials from other type of professions in this game you can switch profession whenever you want and there's a cooldown to it but let's say you're forging let's say you're forging that way you can forge some uh, forging uh, lets you make helm chest and pants i think if i'm not wrong no helm it's something else it's three pieces basically or four pieces uh, and to make the other pieces uh, you have to switch crafting or get it through other means uh, which means when you're crafting, you constantly have to use the trading house very actively uh, by selling items, by buying items, by crafting items. Uh, that way the, there's a e good ecosystem when it comes to money and the trading house, right? So the crafting was very fun in this game. I kind of got into the crafting that in the last few days and when I figured it out, it was amazing. I had a good time crafting and you need to some like... If you go alchemist, you can craft like different potions. If you go artisan, you can craft different flamethrowers that would be needed for chests. Tailoring, craft different type of gear. Jewelry, craft different type of gear. So you want to be actively doing crafting uh, from the start. And you have like a stamina or a vigor, uh, which uh, would require how much crafting you can do. So crafting is also something that is very important in the game overall. Now, last but not least, we have the PvP. Now, unfortunately, the only PP that was open for us was Battlegrounds. The arenas were not open in the closed beta, so we weren't expect, uh, couldn't experience that. But the Battlegrounds overall are fun. They're all like conquering or objective mode based uh, Battlegrounds. So you have to like capture bases, uh, let the card go over like Overwatch style gameplay. Uh, but PvP overall did feel a little lackluster, but I do think that is because we were under geared. Uh, so the tanks and the healers were very strong but i think eventually when we hit like end game the dps's will be strong enough to like actually kill healers and tanks fairly easy so hopefully the pp will get better that way but the objectives and playing with your friends being able to team up with your friends was amazing a lot a lot of games i played recently like uh, P, uh, mmos is you cannot team up with friends at the random queue which uh, is so unfortunate so being able to play with your friends is amazing they will have arenas with ranking to like 1.3 v3s and stuff uh, but that was currently unlocked uh, in the game. Uh, so overall opinion of the game. There's a lot to do in the game. If you're a team player, there's a lot of stuff to do with teams. And if you're a solo player, there's a lot to do in solo. This game has like in-game voice chat, uh, which is most likely required for most raids because the raids are difficult, which makes the game fun and exciting. A lot of exploration to do and a lot of stuff to figure out. Now, I know a lot of people complain about the level cap and stuff, but this game does need a level cap because if it's a level cap, you actually get to experience the difficulty of the raids uh, and you get to experience every single content that the game has to offer. You can't just speed up the max level. You can't just be level immediately level 50 and just smash through the raids. The game actually challenges you uh, by server capping to challenge the hard raid for your level and being able to defeat it right so server cap level really works good uh, overall with this game which i really enjoy now overall i am very excited and hyped for taris land overall i think it's a very well made game and i think it will do great when it comes out globally there are some bugs and glitches definitely that needs to be fixed and some tuning to do uh, but i will be making guides on classes on raids on dungeons and everything taris land related i have a great time it's most likely going to be my main game release date the only thing we know for the release date is it will be coming out 2023 this year 
uh, most likely close to the end of the year September October December most likely one of those months if there are no delays and there's going to be more betas they confirmed there will be more beta and test uh, options for people with iOS and next time they do a test option or a beta they're going to do it a much better they're not going to do it like this time where a lot of people can get into the game uh, that had like email beta access so uh, next time they'll do it much better but overall Tari Land great experience great game i'm very excited for it to launch i had a great time again shout out to my guild levels we did amazing you know people showed up we helped each other everybody else in the game were very helpful in the discord and everything so uh, if you did play the beta make sure you guys give feedback on the discords so they can fix most of the stuff that needs fixing that way we can get the game faster you know if you don't report bugs and they figure it out later on the game will get delayed so make sure you're you give feedback as fast as possible and everything you can if you played it let me know what you guys think about taris land overall do you guys have fun do you guys enjoy it let me know in the comments below make sure you give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe for more taris land content and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye